Hello again everyone, Kerbar here with another Let's Play. And uh, featuring with me today is my good friend. Darfto. And what are we playing today, Darfto? Add for boyfriend. I think I said it right. Hi to full hi to full hi to full boyfriend. Hi. Sup, sup, sup. Bird game. Bird game bird dating game. <laughs> yes. And what are we doing in this game? Dating pigeons. <laughs> I think we're a human dating pigeons. Are we? Yeah. All right. I don't really know much about this game. I, I don't know the story, but apparently you're human dating pigeons. <laughs> All right. Should we get started think... this and see how this goes? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get into this new game because I've never played this game at all. Saint Pigeon Nations Institute. Welcome to Saint Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. What should be our name? Just add Kerbar. Uh, I don't know. Should we Kerbar or should we Hiyoko? <laughs> Kura, is she Kura? Or do I be Darth Do? <laughs> Darth Do. <laughs> or Kurdo? <laughs> okay, let's do that since was, this is a team effort. <laughs> You're gonna be Kurdo today. It's your last name, Tosaka. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Is, Kur Kur is Kurdo's Chisaka okay? I actually I don't like that last name. Let's do what's that. Kurdo Tosaka does not sit, does not roll up the tongue very well. No, it's just. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go switch this up actually. Yeah. All right. You put Kurdo, Kur and then I don't know what. Kurdo. What do you think? Smashing. <laughs> We're just <no> smashing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna go. Uh. Kurdo ogre smash. Yeah. Let's do that. We'll be Kurdo ogre smash. Ogre smash. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It sounds good. Let's get into this. In this pigeon dating. Hide a full boyfriend includes powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Um, uh, which one do we choose? I guess we could see like what they look like in... Like, is it gonna show them as humans throughout the game, or is it just like their voice chat box is gonna have like... No idea, let's find out. Yeah. Configuration saved. All right. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Saint Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricular infertilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. <laughs> the teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. <laughs> I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. You want to do all the bird voices? You the bird voices. <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to be the girl? Uh, I don't know, you, you're good with voices. I Do you want to be the girl? I can try. All right. You want to take over the narration then? Uh, well, no, you go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. Am I doing all the narrations? I can do the commentary. Oh, I see how it is. He's doing narration. Okay, wait, wait, what's my best girl voice? I'm asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. I like that. It's a long story. <laughs> now, okay, who, who my voice is, is a different person? Not every, I like to have a normal voice. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh, that's a bird. Ryuta! Usually you'd, you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Kurdo. Overslept. Is this going to be like your high school? There is. There's Ryoto Kawa. This rock, <laughs> dove, this rock dove is named Ka Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a mischievous, mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. So he's your childhood friend. It is my childhood <laughs> friend. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter and gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. 
All he'll give you is bird or Shh. worms. Shh. Oh, the bell already! Come on, we need to hurry to class. She wants red meat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Red meat. I don't know if I would offer f get uh, take a bird's offer on food because they just give you like a worm. Be like, here, eat this. I'm like, mm. yeah, but I don't think she even knows any better. True. <laughs> Oh, the bell already? We come, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my voice changed. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> Jeepers, no good, no good being late on the first day. I don't even remember the voice I gave him. And so Ryoto pulled me along to the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Woohoo! Woo! Had a boyfriend. The most splendid and greatest academy of pigeons by the pigeons and for the pigeons. First term. Do we get to meet all the pigeons before we choose which one we want to go for? I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious. Do I look like I know things? <laughs> I thought you were a pigeon dating expert. <laughs> when did I say this? I don't remember this happening ever. I think we're in two, 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 three, Ryota. Okay, I think we're in two, three. Ryota and I are in the same class again. I could not speak for some reason. Old faces, new faces, and a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Birdie memories. No. Oh, the teacher's here! Good morning, everybody. Er, I'm Nozaki Kazuka. I seem to be your teacher this year. <laughs> Our special ladies in math and physics. <laughs> and also some other thing. If you catch my drift. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh, <laughs> oh god. god. There's cause... So he's this, like... This quail... Uh, what, what was you gonna say? So he's like the pretty boy teacher? He's the pretty boy sensei. He's probably gonna get in trouble for being a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> You know you can't question me on that. Yeah, so probably not. I don't think we, I don't really want the teacher. Yeah. This quail is Nozaki Kazaku. He's a famous, uh, so, he's a famously sophistic. Sophistic. Let me try again. He's he's a famously sophistic, soph soph. He's a math professor. <laughs> he's a very fancy math professor. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is, isn't it a little woman here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Um. Uh, what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, that's good, no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn to collax and dissenters. Really? Collax and dissenters? <laughs> well, that's a little... <laughs> well, much. Yeah, a little dramatic. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragane? Shiragane Libel Sakya. So we have the high school friend, the lazy teacher, and the rich, the rich, uh, the rich snot. Oh, okay. <laughs> it seems this fan fail is Shigane Sakura. He is his feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Uh huh. 
Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryoto and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. I think he's the hardest one to date, probably. <laughs> I think so. Or he might be the easiest. You never know these games. Yeah. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. <laughs> what? No. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him. <clears throat> Sorry, it's one, one voice. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that interest me. He glanced at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. He he he. They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his books. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Okusmas Kurdo, a sophomore. What about you? <laughs> Your Nogeki. Fushiro. Fushiro Nogeki. Freshman. Says he just, sh he looks either shy or very cold. <laughs> I think he's, uh, all the above. Okay. Fushiganagi, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Aw. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. He's a troubled dove. <laughs> he's a depressed dove. <laughs> I keep meeting depressed pe pressing people today. At least I'm chipper. Yeah. <laughs> now that I've had that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that? Uh oh. Uh oh. You should. Uh, what was his voice again? He had the rich. He had the rich boy voice. Oh, he's the rich boy. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Ouch. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Ow. <laughs> I guess even we are in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, oh. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakaza Sakazaki Yua, is Sakiya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you friends with Sakuya's? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen on you. Ha uh -uh. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's the glasses. The glasses senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna go for him? <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. Do you know what you're going for? Uh, I'm not sure. I want to see them all and then probably okay, pick we'll one. Okay, we'll figure it out. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yua, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. <laughs> you're Kuno, right? H how did you... 
I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. They kind of stick out. <laughs> a single poppy in a field of rye. <laughs> Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I would never had thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, Monomoy Admazel. Bit of a little French there. <laughs> he really is a noble bird. <laughs> I've never heard anything like that about you, uh, though. Probably a twisty business. Hmm. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Are you going to meet a nurse bird? We're going to be, I mean, probably meet a nurse bird and have the, the classic infirmary scene. <laughs> now that I think about it, Ryota has always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. <laughs> Excuse me! Nobody's here! There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here! Darn! I didn't find any scandalous scene. <laughs> My hunter-gathering instincts feels no presence. There's nobody here. Ryota! No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird, did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Uh-oh. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we, we were, were physically fit for a human. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the lack of worms in our diet. Yeah. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> Let's get high! <laughs> Woo! <Shut it up>. <laughs> <laughs> Bird just walks in like, what's going on? Like there's this human like twitching the ground like <laughs> <laughs> Gotta continue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ethelpar, Trefe, Lucio Benze. What do they even these even do? Care to find out? <laughs> oh. The doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of. Th what voice should I give this one, actually? I want to give him kind of like a old doctor's voice, like a. Give an old doctor's voice like this, maybe. 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 I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. No thanks. <clears throat> no thank you. He wants to feed you all sorts of things. Maybe not an old doctor voice. Actually, I might still give it to him. Yeah. That is a, that is even, that's even more of a, a stalker pedophile doctor. He looks like a serial killer. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? <laughs> He's looking at a little glare. That is just like, mm, <laughs> I can cut you up nicely. I, I have a feeling dating him is going to go. Badly. Yeah. This patronage is Iwan Chu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a rad reputation among the student body. I could have told you that from the look of him. <laughs> Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down aspergillus, psychosis, or even worse things. And I've never even heard of him come to the door. Ninja doctor! <laughs> you don't like, you don't, you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawa from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. I hope he didn't murder you. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of like. <laughs> ah, finally out of the den of the devil of evil. Rita's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. She has the most, she's the most sp sp 
She's such a spaz. She is in a way. The braid's going everywhere. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there's a club for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. That seems racist. Well, I was, I was trying to figure out the bird watching one. I was like, isn't that just being a stalker though? And then... True. <laughs> I think their club room is, I, well, there's people watching too, remember? Oh yeah. Which is want... close to stalking, but not the same thing. True. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dub is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo, this is no pudding for a man. Coo. Okasan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious foul salvation. He's dancing around on squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> oh, what? This is Okasan. Even in bird, even in human, he looks like a bird. <laughs> he doesn't look really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. <laughs> Coo! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal! Betrayal? Coo! Okasan introduced the pudding to be provided for new members. Coo! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the streets, shot by those he trusted most! Oh. <laughs> it squished Phil and Thilfy, but the things on his feet looked like no store bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo! Spare the jest, young lady! Okay, Okasan used wing attack! It's super effective! <laughs> <laughs> coo! They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan! He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn! He will. Oh, he's a little uh, serious about that pudding. <laughs> it's very dramatic. Coo! Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding! Farewell. He like. His goal is to make Man, perfect. he's gone. Make perfect pudding or something? <laughs> I, I guess so. He seems kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. He's a good runner, but that what, what does pudding have to do with the track team? Yeah. <laughs> and so into the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations.